Hello colleagues, my name is Possible and I'll be your tutor for today. In our previous lecture, we started with the cyclical behavior of the economic variables. Over there, we saw that we have two types or the cyclical behavior of the economic variables could be seen in two ways. And the one is the direction of the variable. And the second one is timing of the variable. Under the direction of the variable, we saw something called procyclical, whereby they move together or they move in a positive direction. And then we saw what is called countercyclical. That one we said that there's a negative relationship between the macroeconomic variable and the business cycle. We look at a cyclical. They say that there is no clear direction between the economic variable and the business cycle. Straight away from there, we look at the timing of the variable. So the timing of the variable talks about the time at which the economic variable turns as a result of the turning of the business cycle. When the business cycle is turning, and then the economic variable is turning, we are saying that that one, there is a timing relationship between the two components. Under the timing of the economic variable, we saw that we have the leading one or the leading variables. And realize that the leading variables happen before the business cycle also happens. And then from there, we also saw the lagging variables. And we said that the lagging variables, the business cycle has to occur before they also happen. And then the last one was the coincidence. So the coincidence shows no clear time relationship with the, uh, between the business cycle and the macroeconomic variable. Today is of no exception. We are going to look at the nature of forms of macroeconomic variables. The nature of forms of macroeconomic variables. Yes, indeed, we have seen that we have a lot of macroeconomic variables. We have what is called employment, unemployment, interest rate, stock prices residential investment, fixed investment, we have seen all of them. But what are their forms or their nature? They can behave in two ways. They could either be in flow concept or in stock concept. Stock, S-T-O-C-K, stock. So, the variables will either be flow variables or stock variables. The variables are termed as flow variables when they will be measured over a period of time. And then stock variables are the variables that are measured at a point in time. So we are saying that the flow variable they are measured over a period of time, but the stock variables they are measured at a point in time. Right. So in all, what we are trying to say is that we have flow variables and we have stock variables. All the variables that we have been learning since lesson one. Unemployment, employment, inflation. Um, national income or GDP, um, all the variables, industrial, um, production, stock prices, residential investment, fixed investment, they could be categorized into two or they could be measured by using either the flow variable concept or the stock variable concept. And then we are saying that if you are using the flow variable concept, we are measuring the variables over a period of time. 
And then if we are using stock variables, we are, we are measuring them at a point of time. Flow is over a period of time, and then stock is at a point in time. If you have got an opportunity to read accounting before, or financial reporting, International Financial Reporting, um, International Accounting Standard 1, IAS 1, International Accounting Standard 1, IAS 1. It talks about presentation of financial statement. Now the, the presentation of the financial statement, we have what is called statement of financial position at a period of time. How it makes sense? Statement of financial position for a period of time. And then we have the statement of, that, that is statement of, um, we have the income statement for a year ending. So we could see that the, the income statement, we measure it over a period of time, but the financial position, we measure it at a point of time. So the financial position is a stock measurement. And then income statement is a flow measurement. If you have not done accounting before, don't worry. What we are trying to say is that the stock, we measure it at a point in time. Look at something like exchange rates exchange rates or interest rates you can't do like if you're measuring interest rate you can say that oh the exchange rate from um first of first january up to somewhere um second um march no you can say that because even the exchange rate the exchange rate for the morning is different from the exchange rate for the afternoon so for exchange rate or interest rate we measure them at a point of time so if you are talking about an exchange rate or interest rate, we have to say that the interest rate in the morning, the exchange rates in the morning, I hope you are getting it all, the exchange rate in the afternoon, you have to give reference to a particular point in time. But if you are talking about GDP, if you are talking about unemployment rate, you can say that, oh, for the half of the year, the unemployment rate is this. The national income is this. The government budget, uh, the government budget deficit for the um, for the past three months is this. So that we are saying that is flow concept. So in all, what you are trying to say is that business and uh, uh, macroeconomic, sorry, macroeconomic variables could be measured in two ways. One is by using the flow concept or flow measurement, and the second one is by using the stock concept or the stock measurement. Watch out for our, our next lesson. Our next lesson, we are going to start a new topic, which is the concept of national income accounting. National income accounting. Once again, my name is Possible from Ghana. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Bye-bye.